Good morning everyone, this is Ranger Rob from the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel and starting the day off in the studio, had to load my uh, radio stations up and stuff but today in the uh, freeze dryer we're doing garlic and uh, so we got the, one of those five three pound bags of peeled garlic from uh, Costco and Sherry's cutting them all in half and so we're going to go out and take a look at the load and uh, uh, we're going to put slices of bread on top of each one to see if it will kind of uh, uh, collect the smell a little bit so we, our freeze dryer doesn't smell like garlic for the next two months. So uh, it's just a battle plan, but let's go take a look. So uh, what's it like uh, cutting three pounds of uh, peeled garlic? It's very sticky. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. <laughs> This kitchen really smells <laughs> like garlic in here. So you think that bag's going to fill up three uh, trays? Three, but it's not. I don't think it'll do the fourth tray. No. Oh. So I have to come up with something else to put in that fourth tray. Yeah. So I assume that whatever we put in with this garlic, um, we got to make sure it's <laughs> somewhat <laughs> compatible. So yeah, somewhat compatible. So uh, yeah, that's a lot of garlic. Yeah. So I am going to put a some bread over the top of it just to help with the yeah. fumes odors. All right well it'll be interesting how this turns out. Um, we can make our own um, minced garlic out of this and powdered garlic. Um, so and we can also just keep them in, in their cloves and add them into things as we cook. So kind of nice to have so we're looking forward to it. So before we put this into the freeze dryer, Sherry's putting like little pieces of pocket bread in here to help soak up some of the fumes. Um, we'll still smell like garlic for a couple weeks, but um, we're going to do mushrooms after this, which we don't mind having a little garlic taste to them. But uh, yeah, I thought that was a pretty good idea. So uh, we'll be throwing those in straight to the freeze dryer. We'll put in freeze mode, so it'll take a little longer, so about 30 hours, I guess. But uh, then we'll have tons of garlic. We'll be in such good shape. Today is clean the chicken house day. So in the meantime, um, Sherry's been cleaning the pond out and pulling remnants out of it. And uh, I'm going to take this to the back. This will be really good for my compost. We'll empty that out and then I'll show you how we clean our chicken house. So I was going to show you this in the main chicken house and underneath here is where the chickens roost and uh, when we built this we put a, a shower liner in here and it's been a blessing. Super easy to clean, comes right out. Even our sides open up on the side, easy to clean and that was kind of a goal. Uh, if we we're going to have chickens we wanted the chicken house to be easy to clean. So. There it goes, we scrape it out. I'm gonna throw some hay in there. And we use hay, not straw. Because the chickens love to eat the hay. So uh, anyway, uh, I will be checking the nesting boxes, make sure that they're clean enough. If they need uh, swept out, we'll replace the hay. But super easy to clean, that's the important thing. If you're gonna have a chicken house, make it easy to clean.
think the uh, the other thing I really like is our uh, chicken house is right next to the compost bin. Super easy to put in this stuff. It's important we're not getting much rain, so I have to come here and water this down. But this may look kind of high, but after about a week or two, it drops. It just keeps dropping. And uh, we put our food waste in these. Uh, and uh, with the chicken manure in there, it's got to sit for a long time to kind of let it cool down. But yeah, and this gorilla cart is perfect for a compost bin. So uh, very happy with it. Very happy with the design of the chicken house and how easy it is to clean. And we just gave all our chickens lots of hay to play with in the front. And uh, they eat the hay and they'll spread it around. And they're making compost for me in there too. So this, uh, this uh, late spring, we'll probably scoop all that out, add it to the compost bin and uh, just keep making compost thanks to our chickens and the hay. Alright guys, so I'm out front here and we told you we had some guests coming to the house. And uh, how high do you want me to? <laughs> that. So this is uh, Jay Lynn, which is Sherry's sister. And we put her to work. So Tom yeah, here. it's kind of yeah the Tom Sawyer effect. So first thing you do is you get fitted for a smock and then you uh, put, put everybody to work. So by the time uh, you're, you're getting tired of your your uh, your company, they want to leave because <laughs> they're exhausted. So they're cutting out. Uh, this is a flower bed. We haven't really ta tackled it all, and somehow Sherry talked her sister into tackling it. So they're trying to uh, open it up a little more, and then we got to deal with these junipers, and uh, they're kind of dead in the center and growing outward. And they really don't have a battle plan for that. And these old uh, barrels, uh, they're kind of neat looking. We'll just get them cleaned up. But we're going to get these uh, branches up and get some light in here. And then, uh, so their plan is to work from the top down and see how far they get. And, you know, um, we may have to get the tractor. Oh boy. <laughs> tractor day. So anyway guys, yeah, we're always looking for an excuse to get the tractor out. So uh, anyway, we want to thank Jay Lynn for helping us. Anytime we can get help on the homestead, we appreciate it. So uh, enjoy. We'll see how sore we can make her by the end of the, the four days that she's here. <laughs> and uh, anyway, let's move on. Well, of course, since these guys have been cleaning out this bed, they have... Uh, come up with piles of uh, branches and then uh, so we're going to try to carry some of that to the back back here and after trial and error we got the uh, tractor going again so we're going to get these loaded and go find a place for them so we used the tractor and got uh, got all those branches moved to the back part of our property which uh, we have to establish a new bird pile because the old one we had is too close to the greenhouse and uh, I don't think uh, fires next to greenhouses are very smart. So anyway, we are very grateful that Jay Lynn came down and she likes to participate in the yard. And uh, so uh, yeah, it's always nice to have some extra help what they're doing back there. In fact, let's go take a look. All right, so it's been a little later here. We're taking a look at what the girls did. They really opened it up nicely. It looks totally different. Juniper's gone and uh, it's it's workable now. So there's some really good things in here to see and these barrels are super fertile dirt in them and we can put beautiful flowers. So uh, yeah, it's been transformed thanks to these two and uh, we're always grateful for the help. Well, the girls have just taken off and they're going to go get their mother. And it's kind of cute, I gotta admit. Um, uh, Sherry's mother is uh, about 83 now, doesn't get around too well. And this whole yard, this whole house that they ha used to own, and we bought them, used to be a flower paradise, and she was quite the uh, gardener. So, uh, <laughs> of course, we've made modifications, so every time we change something, like behind us, what the girls did, you always wonder, is like, what's, what's mom gonna say? 
So anyway, they're going to bring her over, and uh, her mom never had a chance to have a greenhouse and, and never did hydroponics. And so uh, when they get her, they're going to take the car around to the back of the property and uh, take her to the greenhouse and the tower system. And uh, she's kind of old school as far as uh, gardener, but she's a green thumb all the way. And uh, also our, the green room she used to use for flowers. And so we're using it a little differently, but we're still starting flowers just like her. So uh, I'm sure the girls are kind of like, I hope, you know, <laughs> even though she, her mom does not judge us, her mom is, it's your house now, you do what you want and all that. It's still cute to watch the, us, and I do it too, is, uh, you know, does, does mom like it? <laughs> and uh, uh, it's very cute. So. Uh, it's hard for her to get around, but they'll drive the car around, take her right up to the the two systems up there to let her see it. And uh, I'm hoping I might take the camera back there. I want to hear her comments like, oh, I'd never do this or this is amazing. Um, and she's always got good information for us as far as flower. If you want to know anything about flowers or anything of how the plant and all the little different aspects of the property, she's right there to help us out so it's really really cute so uh, hopefully uh, i'm gonna see if i can get a little bit of uh film and i try to keep it tactful and uh and not intimidating but we'll see uh if we can get her on film a little bit and see what she thinks of all this so this is the part where uh sherry gets to take her mom around the property and let her see all the new things so we thought it'd be kind of cute to uh, see if we'd capture some of this. So what they do is her mother can't get around too well. So they go around the property and just kind of describe the things we're doing. And then she explains the things she used to do. And uh, it's kind of good for them. So, yeah. It's out quite a bit. I like the color on the house. It needs a white still. Yeah, tighten it up we could, but we've also got this on a roller, and that's what the posts are for, so we can roll it up. Mm -hmm. On both sides, they will roll up halfway, to, so we can uh, get the air through, because yeah. it gets too hot. And, and get the bees. And the bees. <laughs> so, I'm going to let Rob explain some of this. Oh, oh sure. Is that your hydroponic uh, fluid? No. Okay, so... Right here, back here is a big tub. This is our, our where we put our water in mm -hmm. and we dropped it down into the ground. There's a pump in it, just like the pond. It pumps it up through here. So they're loading our uh, mom back into the car and they'll take her around and uh, we'll show her the uh, green room. Anyway, she's really tickled pink to see uh, this is, uh, how the, everything came together and how we put things together so it makes uh, Sherry feel proud and and uh, she keeps her involved in uh, gardening and uh, so yeah it's it was really fun to have her come into the greenhouse and everything and and uh, she says I never got a chance to try hydroponics because her husband didn't like to do that kind of stuff but her husband helped to do all this so anyway but she's now with us so she can enjoy hydroponics with our family so we're uh, pretty tickled about that so it was a success and, and uh so fun to see her enjoy what we're doing here with the property and uh hey kids are always you always want your parents to be proud of you well we just sent sherry's mom back home um uh, she gets tired really easily but we made her a really good dinner she got to see uh all the things she wanted to see and that's about as much as she can handle so uh, so, uh, she's about a half hour away from here. And uh, so it's been a really good day. It's always nice when the uh, two sisters can have uh, time with their mom. And their mom gets to share in some of the things here. And it's neat that we bought the house because it's always here for her. And, uh, but uh, she has a lot of medical needs and stuff. And so uh, knowing that she's nearby and she can come over anytime she wants. And uh, she's good for a couple of hours, and by then she's exhausted and she's ready to go home. So uh, anyway, it's been a great day. So we we'll always thank the Lord that we have, uh, had the chance to have her over and, 
enjoy everything and um, I know it warms the hearts of both uh, Sherry and her sister and uh, so yeah it's been a good day so guys have a thank you very much for watching please take the time to uh, leave your uh, comments below and say hello we'd love to meet you tell us what you're up to and maybe if you're uh, how your gardens are doing or if you're thinking about getting a garden and if you have questions about hydroponics um, let us know and uh, uh, we're still learning too so please take the time to like subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world we'd appreciate it and may God bless you and we'll see you next time bye our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob poopy bags available at Amazon right now Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.